We believe that he was in the South Tower. He was never recovered. There's another, you know, no, another great person that, uh, that died that day. It was a near perfect September morning. Firefighter Steven Siller just finished his overnight shift with Squad One, the elite unit trained to rescue other firefighters. Stephen was headed to play golf with his three brothers. We were pumped up because uh, we were four brothers <laughs> getting together to play golf. Very, everybody very busy. Stephen already with five kids. And, uh, you know, heard on his scan of what had happened, then he turned his truck around. The golf date would never happen. Stephen, who had dreamed of being a firefighter since he was a teen, turned his truck toward the Twin Towers, but could get only as far as the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. It was blocked, but that didn't stop him. Came to a screeching halt, got out calmly, put his gear on, and started running through the tunnel. And uh, that tunnel is nearly two miles long. That heroic run, loaded down with more than 60 pounds of gear, became the driving force of the foundation created by his family in Stephen's honor. He wanted his kids to know that his dad was a hero. We didn't have any great lofty goals, you know, starting the foundation. Uh, but when a friend of his came up with the idea of running through the tunnel like he did, I said, oh, my God, <laughs> please. It was, you just know the right thing when you hear it. The race, called Tunnel to Towers, is part of the nationally recognized Stephen Siller Foundation and has raised more than $70 million. The whole day is just a great celebration of everybody's life that was lost that day. Stephen will be turning 50 in November? November 15th, he would, he would have been turning 50, yes. What kind of 50-year-old do you think Stephen would have made? Uh, I think he would have been a very young 50-year-old. Uh, Loved being a firefighter, so he'd still definitely be a firefighter. He would have had over 20 years already. He would have been able to retire, uh, but he, there's no way he would have retired. He loved the challenge of being able to save people. Knowing Stephen, he probably liked the fear factor involved. You know, he had guts. He loved that brotherhood. If you could talk to Stephen one more time, what would you tell him? I'm proud of you. All your siblings are, your kids are, your wife is, but the whole community is. You really did something special, Steve.